entry-level Bluetooth wireless earbuds. If you search for wireless Bluetooth earbuds on Amazon, you will no doubt get a hundred, maybe even a thousand different options of varying quality. However, if you want something that's reliable, that has active noise cancellation, maybe tuning from some of the big audio brands, then inevitably you're going to have to talk to Samsung, Sony, or maybe even Apple. Well, at least Samsung has figured out that the entry-level market does deserve some quality. And the latest Buds in their lineup is called the Galaxy Buds 2. Now the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 is the new entry level in the Samsung lineup. They retail for $189, which is quite honestly, not a very entry level price. But how do they justify this? Well, for starters, these come with active noise cancellation, an ambient sound mode, and ear tips that are customizable. They also have a new recessed design that fits right inside your ears. But most importantly, they're really easy to set up. All you have to do is open the box, turn on your phone, and they pair seamlessly with your Samsung Galaxy device. Other phones may have a similar uh, experience, but they won't be as seamless as with a Samsung Galaxy phone. So keep that in mind if you're choosing these earbuds for another Android device. Once you download the app though, you get a lot of different customizations which are accessible on other Android phones. With the app, you can tune your equalizer settings so you can get the sound profile that you really like. Now, these earbuds do have a dual driver design. They don't mention what the sizes of those drivers are, but because it does have two drivers, treble is taking care of with a tweeter and the woofer takes care of the low frequency sounds, which in a lot of cases, when you compare it to those other earbuds on Amazon, you're just going to get a much crisper, more detailed sound by default. Now, because wireless Bluetooth earbuds aren't just for mobile phones. Yes, you can use them with Galaxy tabs. You can use them with uh, your iPhone as well too, if you wish. But most importantly, if you have a laptop, like my XPS 15, which I use for Zoom calls and everything else, uh, they fared very seamlessly. And there's actually an app that's available from Samsung that you can use to tune the settings right on that operating system, which is rather neat. Now I have a golden rule with any sort of earbuds, headphones, earphones, and that's they have to be comfortable. If they're not comfortable, it doesn't matter how great they sound. If I can't keep them in my ear for more than 20 minutes at a time, then they're really not worth my time. So the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 have interchangeable earbuds. There's three sizes in the box. The mediums come attached and there's a small and a large that come with it. One thing that I did notice on these earbuds is that the medium buds actually fit uh, in such a way that they sort of started to force them out of my ear. Now, this could be a combination of the fact that they are a flush fit, like you can barely see them when I'm wearing them on the street, unless you look right at the side of my head. Uh, I was actually needing to put on the small earbuds so that the earbuds themselves would go deeper into my canal. Because when I was chewing gum and doing the gum test on the uh, medium size uh, ear tips, they fell out. And that's not something that was great. They were comfortable, but they have to be able to stay in my ears for me to enjoy all that audio quality, right? And they weigh five grams, which is also helpful for their long-term comfort because you don't want these huge things hanging off of your ears the entire time. So fatigue and comfort after I tuned up those earbuds uh, with those tips was very, very reassuring. And I, I really loved the fit after I got that taken care of. Now, the other thing that you can do to guarantee a good quality fit is you can use the fit test that's built inside the app. What it does is it pings your ear canals to ensure that there's no sound leaking out of your earbuds when you've got them in your ears. So by doing so, it ensures a quality fit so that you're getting all of the uh, audio performance that you paid for. Now, despite being Samsung's entry level buds, these guys have AKG tuned audio. So what does that actually mean? Well, for starters, they've got dual drivers in here, as I mentioned. So the tweeters do the tweeting and the woofers do the woofing. And what that turns into is a very punchy bass with not a lot of bottom end because uh, these aren't the same as the Pro, which are the higher end model. You can check out the review up here at the link. And that's not such a bad thing because it just really depends on your 
taste in music, right? Like for someone that wants to listen to a wide range of music, maybe that's not such a bad thing. Uh, these do have a lot of EQ modes that you can punch up the bass a little bit more, but if you're looking for something more bass heavy, these might not be the ones for you. Now, having said that though, uh, I did really enjoy the audio quality overall. I thought that listening to podcasts uh, were was a very um, warm and inviting experience. I didn't get a lot of ear fatigue. And that's, again, that's really important because if you can't hang out with these and listen to your favorite music, favorite programming for a long period of time, then it, it really doesn't matter. Now, while the app does provide a lot of good customization, even without a Samsung smartphone, you're going to want to get a Samsung smartphone if you want the best possible audio quality. Now, why is that? It's because Samsung only allows their codecs to be used with Samsung Galaxy smartphones. If you don't have a Samsung Galaxy smartphone, you're going to have to use the more standard Bluetooth profiles, which is SBC or AAC. There's no Qualcomm APTX or any of those higher bit rates. So if you're looking for ultimate audio quality, you're going to need, again, a Galaxy device. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I got these with my Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, and it's been a really surprisingly great experience on the audio side for me. But once I paired that to another device, my OnePlus 7T, which I have as my standby, the audio quality was notice noticeably lesser. So for the best possible experience, you're going to have to use a Samsung phone. And to dovetail onto that, if you're using these with another device that isn't Galaxy, like your Windows 10 device, you're going to get a lesser quality experience, mainly because it's just going to piggyback off of the standard Bluetooth codecs. It's not saying it's necessarily a bad thing, it's just saying you're not gonna get the fidelity that you would have if you're using a Samsung Galaxy device. There's also another feature called ambient mode, which allows you to walk into a place and hear what everyone is saying. So if you were to order coffee uh, inside a coffee shop, that would allow you to be able to have a conversation with the barista and go back to listening to your music. Now keep in mind though, this mode seems to work a lot better when you're indoors. What I discovered is that when I went outdoors and there was a gentle breeze of any kind, I was not able to hear someone talking to me beside me with the ambient mode. So that's something that's worth mentioning if you are to use it in an outdoor situation. Now, speaking of call quality, which is something that's very important to people being understood and communicating, uh, I'm gonna give you a quick voice quality uh, sample right here. So we're walking down the street in Vancouver. There are, there's an F-150 that just rolled by. There's a dozen cars that just rolled by on my right-hand side here. And there's a, a good breeze. And we wanted to give you an idea of what the Galaxy Buds 2's three microphones and the voice processing unit are giving you in terms of sound quality. So what do you guys think? Now the active noise cancellation, as mentioned, is, is really good. It, in fact, they rated at 98% uh, noise reduction, which is fantastic. But what you'll notice is that because these are entry-level buds, there's very little customization in the way that they attenuate that sound for you. Now, one really neat parlor trick is because I have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, uh, the outer screen, the 1.9 inch screen, actually allows me to have a widget built into it that lets me toggle the active noise cancellation or the ambient mode on or off. It even lets me connect and disconnect my earbuds at will. And this is something that is built into the Samsung Galaxy ecosystem because if you have a watch like the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 review link up here, you can actually toggle those functions right on the watch as well too, which is kind of a perk of being inside the Samsung Galaxy ecosystem. Now, not everything is awesome though. One thing that I did notice is that when I was putting ear in the earbuds, they worked fine. But one thing that I expect when I pull them out is that the music will stop. And these earbuds did not do that. I don't know if that's a software or firmware update. And again, we should caution that you should never buy a piece of hardware with the expectation that software will fix something. But this is something that I noticed on these buds that did not work for me. So in order for me to take off the earbuds and have the music stop, I would have to tap them to get it to pause. When it comes to battery life, let's talk some specifics here. Specifically, the weight of these earbuds. Each one weighs 
five grams. That's extraordinary. And that's what contributes to their lightweight as well as their overall comfort. So you have to also consider what kind of battery life would I be getting out of these earbuds? Well, uh, Samsung rates them at five hours with the active noise cancellation on uh, or ambient. So that's doing a lot of processing in the background. And you're looking at about five hours of battery life. So if you turn everything off, including the active noise cancellation and the ambient mode off, you're looking at about seven and a half. The case will give you 15 additional hours. That means about three charges when everything is completely shut off or another one and a half charges if you have everything on. That's not going to break any records, but given the size of these and the weight, you have to balance the comfort and everything together. Honestly, I, if I'm listening for more than four to five hours, I'm, I'm probably going to want them out of my ears at some point. That's a long time. But having said that though, if I'm on calls all day long and I don't have a chance to take them out and they die, one of the nice things about this charging case is that for about five minutes of charge, I get an additional hour of use. The other thing is that if you are going out for lunch and you charge the case up, it'll take you about one or two hours to completely charge the case up again. So if you manage your battery well, you shouldn't really run into any issues. Plus this case, even though it's entry level, Qi charging is something that it does support. Now, despite all the awesome things, all the great features that these earbuds have, one of the features that I was most interested in was the Find My Earbuds feature, which works with smart things. Now, these earbuds are very tiny. They weigh five grams. And if you were to drop one somewhere, say in the cushion of your car, or had them fall off your desk and they scattered, it, they would be very difficult to find. These earbuds with the Find My Earbuds feature actually allows you to locate these buds individually, which is fantastic. So if for some reason they were separated from the case and they rolled off somewhere inside your room or your house, you could turn on uh, the Find My feature and it would actually ping each earbud individually until you were able to locate them which is a fantastic feature. Therefore, you could reunite them and put them back in your case. But this is where things go completely horribly wrong for me. You see, when you put the buds back in the case and you use that Find My Earbud feature, so let's just say that you place these somewhere on a shelf and you forgot about them, the Find My feature will no longer ping these earbuds even though they're still connected to your phone. There is no audio. And in fact, there's a message on the app that says there will be no sound when they are inside the case. Now, granted, there is a navigation feature that is available inside the app, but if they're already in my house and they're on a shelf, the only way that I can locate them is if I could hear them. But it gets even worse. If I close the case, like let's just say that I was slipping them into my pants pockets, and they fell out onto the street, I can't ping them at all. They make no noise and they actually disconnect from my phone. So the only thing that it will give me is the last known location and how to get to it. But by then, someone else would be enjoying these wonderful buds on me. Okay, I have to be honest here. At $189, and I hate coming back to this, but these are supposed to be entry level at $189. This is almost $200. There are some things to love. We've got great audio quality with dual drivers, with AKG tuning the audio. We've got Qi charging, which is fantastic. Put it down, get it charging, wake up in the morning, grab them and go. And we've got remarkable lightweight, and honestly, they're super comfortable. And that's on the top of my list. If something is not comfortable to me, it doesn't matter how good they sound. I just simply won't wear them. And then that device per use becomes extremely expensive. So how do we justify this price? Can we justify this price? Well, these earbuds work best in the Samsung Galaxy ecosystem. So if you are a Samsung Galaxy phone user, you're gonna get the best possible experience with this. And this is namely because there's a couple things that it does better 
for example, the codec. It uses Samsung's scalable codec. That means that you're gonna get more bits, better fidelity, and just all overall a better audio experience. But is that enough? Well, let's kind of look at the Android ecosystem as a whole. There are so many phones out there that run Android that are not Galaxy, and none of them benefit from these extra features. They'll have lower quality audio, and that's not something that is, you know, it does really great. It's kind of proprietary. So what are the competitors to these? Well, we've reviewed one of them. There's the Huawei FreeBuds 4i. Those earbuds have active noise cancellation and an ambient mode and a ridiculous 118 Canadian dollar price tag. You've also got the Pixel Buds A series. Those came out recently and they're $139. They may not have active noise cancellation, but Google has put in something called adaptive noise and that helps it kind of navigate those background noises that active noise cancellation doesn't completely uh, address. So can I recommend these to you if you are not a Samsung Galaxy user? No, for you, there are other options out there. But if you are an absolute Samsung Galaxy ecosystem diehard and you want the best possible experience, well, $189 is now your new entry level to get into a set of wireless Bluetooth earbuds. And I think these are them. But if you like the reviews that we're doing, make sure that you subscribe because that tells us that we're doing a good job. And leave a comment below because that also lets us know what kind of things that we're missing and also some of the things that we should be addressing in future videos. My name is Steven, adios.